All right, good afternoon, boys and girls. We have completed a pool enclosure and I wanna show you what that looks like. Now, I mentioned in the previous video on the same pool enclosure that you have to be really, really careful uh, about painted decks. Some pool paints are really good and strong. Um, this is a really high quality pool paint. However, um, it is uh, very old and there's absolutely no way you could run a surface cleaner on this. You would chew the deck up. Uh, really, really badly. So we tiptoed around with the X-Jet M5 twist. And, um, you know, after saturating all the beams and screens, laying some solution, a little hotter mix on the deck itself, um, it just came out absolutely beautiful. Come take a look, guys. Look at that house. That's a big one, huh? All right, so we have 400 feet of high pressure on a little buggy cart. We just wheel that around. I'm using a one-foot lance, and I hook that up to both my uh, J-Rod, uh, which is a just a simple uh, J-Rod with uh, multiple wash tips. There you go, those are the wash tips. Big dogs right there. Um, you got a little shooter tip and you've got a water broom, I like to call it anyway. Um, I didn't break out the Sutton or Easy Pole or anything like that. Um, I ran 200 feet of high pressure line, 50 feet of supply line on the uh, 4200 PSI cold water unit. That's a uh, Viper AR nickel plated um, pump and uh, great, great workhorse. It is belt driven, so if you wanna hook up a buffer, you're, uh, you, could, you could draw off there. I would recommend going with at least a five and a half gallon a minute if you're gonna do something fixed on a trailer. Um, I like to be mobile because I like to stretch out around these homes. Uh, you can see some of these homes, you know, uh, it's uh, lots of feet, you know, you know from the road uh, to the back there. So, uh, if you got 300, then, you know, 300 feet, you're, you're in pretty good condition. I'm going to show you guys one more thing here. Sorry. I keep flipping around. This is the reducer. All right. You see how that works? So that will go on the end of the high pressure ball valve. You see your male, female fitting. You see the size of your orifice there. So that is your, uh, reducer there. We use that a lot for screens and things like that, but just take a look at this uh, pool enclosure guys. It just came out absolutely beautiful. Now I am going to have to rinse my feet off uh, really quickly. So please bear with me and uh, I'll let you kind of stare at the deck while I do that. Uh, I just don't want to track a bunch of uh, mud all over the deck that I just cleaned, literally just cleaned. Sorry about that video guys. I'm going to go ahead and shut the water off. Um, there you go. That is obviously your DN10. Um, and that's what it looks like when you get chemical on it. So be very careful when you're shooting, you know, oxalic or anything like that. There's the DN10. You can see the stamp right there. And you can see this is really important right there. That's how you know you don't have a knockoff. So you can see this, the uh, orifice there in comparison uh, to the reducer. I'll let you see that really quick one more time. Got to break that out of my back pocket here. So this is what your high pressure ball valve looks like and this is what your reducer looks like see the difference and this obviously just goes on here reduces your pressure and you can put your j-rod on there or you can put your m5 uh, twist on there the only way to turn your water on and off is right here but you won't be having to hold a gun all day long i highly recommend getting something you know a little one foot lance because these suckers do produce a lot of mist so when you're um, shooting high areas, take a look, guys. Look at that cage. Is that gorgeous or what? Not a mark anywhere. Those beams and screens are sparkling. Refer, refer to that before video. Um, this is what the deck looks like really nice. I'm going to go ahead and drive you around the deck. Make sure you do all your corners, all your seams, get everything off. This place uh, was a mess this morning. There's our puddle up spot. You guys remember that? Just beautiful, but you can see the compromised paint, right? Look at your furniture. I'll show you some areas of paint that are compromised, that are old and beat up. There's one right there. Here's another one right here. And here's another one right here. So you see that? No surface cleaner on these. All right. So you can see what the corners look like. And uh, you can see what all this looks like. Isn't that nice? This furniture was hammered before, guys. It was really, really, really bad. So you kind of get the basic gist. Get all the lichen off their pads. You can see what the exterior of the cage looks like. Make sure you get all those beams, you know, in between, all around. We did all your soffits. 
you know, all the soffits through here. And, but I just wanted to show you what that cage looks like and what that deck looks like. Um, this was the real troubled area here. This was the area that we had most of the problem. That's because all that runoff is coming off that roof. Um, and so it all really just builds up right in through here. But as you can see, uh, things just look like uh, almost brand new. You know what I mean? So uh, windows are sparkling and shining. Have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. That's all you need to do it, guys. One foot Lance X-Jet M5 twist, DN10 high pressure, 200 feet of high pressure, 100 feet of 3 8 siphon hose. Get yourself a nice tank. I don't, you don't, this is overkill. This is for, you know, a, a trailer. Um, and you don't, you're only gonna wanna fill this maximum uh, of, you know, 15 gallons of uh, SH. And the reason being is because that's 150 pounds. And you can throw another five gallons uh, of water on there and you got a really hot mix. That's 20 gallons and uh, you're pushing almost 200 pounds with that. SH weighs 10 pounds per gallon um, and water weighs eight pounds per gallon. So, you know, you would never fill that up 40 gallons. That would be 400 pounds of SH. You would if it was fixed on the back of a trailer, that would be absolutely fine. Or if that was in the back on a skid in your, you know, in your pickup truck, that would be absolutely fine. But if you're wheeling it around in an aluminum hand truck, don't go over more than 30, 30 uh, gallons because it gets really heavy. And you can see, I don't go with the inflatable tires. Um, I go with the hard tires because they'll never, ever go flat. Have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning. 386-453-4213 if you have any questions or concerns. And that's what it should look like. I'm actually going to turn around over here because I want to show that area that I showed before. Well, I guess the sun's in it. Anyway, you guys get the, the basic gist. Keep your pool clean if you can, guys. Keep it as clean as you possibly can. See how there's no dirt in there? No debris? All right, have a great day.